Royal Marines from 4-2 Commando are being pushed tactically, physically and mentally. In this training scenario, they've come off ship to shore and landed in a fictional country where civil unrest is developing. Commando Edge is essentially stress testing the Marines of Lima Company uh, in a unique tactical level scenario. They've inserted onto, uh, onto the ground, uh, they've secured an embassy. The XI scenario is one of many um, contingencies that the Fleet Contingency Squadron may end up facing in the future. As tensions rise, the mission becomes more complex. Protests on the ground, attacks by an enemy cell, and as the situation becomes more hostile, commandos must carry out covert operations to defeat their adversaries. Maritime sniper teams are sent up on Wildcat helicopters for reconnaissance and intelligence gathering tasks. The specialists usually provide overwatch from the air and shoot out the engines of enemy vessels. But their versatility allows the team in this scenario to provide extra firepower on the ground where it's needed most. The commandos are also practicing fast roping from Wildcat helicopters during the day. So the manoeuvre can be carried out in the dead of night for an attack on an enemy compound. Fast roping is a skill that needs to be honed by the commandos and getting them into position by wildcats is a skill that needs to be honed by the pilots. So uh, at night we'll aim to be 30 feet above the ground uh, when we're training and that gives a safe buffer so it's safe for the troops in the back. But that also gives us a good opportunity to pick some references out the window. Um, and what I mean by references is, is literally it might be a, a brick or a daisy on the ground, something that you can see and you can keep your eye on. And that gives you an idea of where the cab is moving backwards or forwards. And obviously uh, backwards or forwards movement is, is, is tough for the guys in the back. Uh, but, but more so, if you're in a confined area at night, you might only have a couple of feet either way that you can move before you could end up with a, uh, a tip strike, i.e. Uh, one of the rotor blades uh, contacting uh, a tree. That would be catastrophic. Uh, so that's probably the hardest element of the job, is to keep the aircraft in a stable hover. Fast roping enables commandos to be deployed quickly in hard-to-reach places. Royal Marines from 4-2 Commando could be tasked with rescuing isolated personnel such as downed pilots deep behind enemy lines or other rescue operations. At this part of the training scenario, as the civil unrest has escalated, the mission is now to evacuate UK entitled persons on the ground, wherever that might be. Extracting British citizens at risk shows the versatility of the 4-2 Royal Marines. As part of the modernisation of the Royal Marines, this training allows them to work in smaller teams, in hostile areas, moving through tricky terrain and practising commando basics. Right up to covert missions like wiping out the enemy's communication network. At the base of this pylon, a series of explosives are rigged as quickly as possible and as carefully as possible so the commandos remain undetected and get into position ready to take it down. With the enemy's communications out of action, it's time to head back to the embassy and prepare for an assault on a building occupied by hostiles. The fast-paced 
and quick changing nature of this scenario is to emulate any number of operations these commandos could be sent on as the fleet contingency troop. And now it's time to clear the enemy building. The adversaries are defeated. Rescuing civilians or military personnel behind enemy lines is just one of the many varied roles 4-2 Commando undertakes, with the next mission just around the corner. Bryony Williams, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.